Good evening. I am going to show how cosine squared x times sine to the fourth x equals this more linear combination of cosines. And the first thing that we need are these alternate forms of the half angle formula. Notice that 2x and x, x is half of 2x. If we have 4x here, 2x is half of it. So these are half angle formulas. This is 4x over 2. This is 2x over 2. So these are half angle formulas. So I'm going to replace this cosine squared x with 1 half times 1 plus the cosine of 2x. And then I'm going to take this sine to the fourth and I'm going to replace it with sine squared x times sine squared x. Because then I'm going to replace each of these sine squared x's with one of these. So the first sine squared x gets replaced with 1 half times 1 minus the cosine of 2x. And the second sine squared x gets replaced with 1 half times 1 minus the cosine of 2x. Now, I'm going to gather all those halves and put them on the outside because they are going to complicate things. So a half times a half times a half is 1 eighth. Now I'm not going to mess with this one, this 1 plus cosine of 2x. But I am going to distribute, I am going to multiply these two together. What's left is 1 minus What's left is 1 minus cosine of 2x times 1 minus cosine of 2x. Now, I'm wondering if I'm not going to save myself a lot of trouble if instead of multiplying the 1 minus times the 1 minus, what if I multiply the 1 minus cosine 2x times 1 plus cosine 2x? That, um, I think that'll help me skip a few steps because that becomes 1 minus cosine squared of 2x, right? The difference of squares factors into that, so you can put it back. And then I just have a 1 minus cosine 2x after that. Now, I can replace this cosine squared 2x with this formula. So this becomes 1 eighth, 1 minus, this formula now is 1 half times 1 plus the cosine of 4x. And 
and I still have this other one that's 1 minus the cosine of 2x. So if I distribute the minus in, this becomes 1 eighth, and then I have 1 minus, um, minus a half times 1 is minus a half, and minus a half times this is minus 1 half cosine of 4x. And I still have this 1 minus cosine 2x. That's the big parentheses with the 1 eighth right there. Now I can combine these like terms. And this becomes 1 eighth. This is now 1 minus, no it's not, it's a half, didn't think that sounded right. This is now 1 minus a half is 1 half minus 1 half cosine of 4x. And that's multiplied by 1 minus the cosine of 2x. And now we just have two binomials that we need to multiply. So I still have 1 eighth. And when I do these two first ones, I get a half. When I do this one with the outside, I get minus 1 half cosine 2x when I do this one with this I get minus 1 half cosine 4x and when I do the last two together this one with this one I get plus 1 half and I'm going to put the cosine 2x first. Doesn't matter because multiplication is commutative. Times the cosine of 4x. And then the last thing that I need to do in order to make it look like the way the problem is worded, I just need to distribute the 1 eighth into all of these. So the final answer in purple is going to be 1 over 16 minus 1 over 16 times the cosine of 2x minus 1 over 16 times the cosine of 4x plus 1 over 16 times the cosine of 2x times the cosine of 4x. And now we have all of our coefficients. It looks like a equals 1 16th, b equals negative 1 16th. C, doesn't C go with the 4 pot x? Yes, C equals negative 1 16th. And D equals positive 1 16th. And I checked it by putting in x equals 30 degrees into the original, and I get that the
cosine squared of 30 times the sine to the fourth of 30 equals 3 over 64. And then I plugged in 30 for every one of these x's, and I got 3 over 64. So we know that that's right.